Russia is losing its newest pro-rev tanks in Ukraine, analysts reveal figures. The Russian invading army has already lost at least 100 T-90M main battle tanks in Ukraine. This is evidenced by the data of the analytical project Oryx, which collects information on military losses of the parties only from visually confirmed data. Thus, during the full-scale war, analysts managed to confirm the loss of at least 100 such tanks. In total, the occupiers left 3,221 tanks in Ukraine. 2,181 were destroyed, 156 were damaged, 356 were abandoned, and 518 were captured by Ukrainian defenders. According to Oryx, during the Great War, the Russian army lost 16,884 units of equipment, 12,238 units destroyed, 759 damaged, 966 abandoned, and 2,921 captured. Recently, the soldiers of the Ukrainian 225th Assault Battalion captured the state-of-the-art T-90M ProRiv main battle tank. Over the past eight months, other brigades have reportedly made 12 attempts to pull the tank to the rear. During these attempts, they managed to move the vehicle but failed in its full evacuation. Another tank was used to evacuate the T-90M ProRiv, but it got stuck in the mud and could not continue moving. The soldiers of the 225th Battalion waited until nightfall and successfully evacuated both tanks. The inspection showed that in addition to damage to the engine and transmission compartment, the tank also received external damage to the hull and optical elements. The T-90M ProRiv tank is a modernization of the export-oriented T-90S version, which was introduced in 20. 11. The Russian military received the first batch of T-90M tanks only in 2020. According to multiple sources, the tank has been upgraded with a fundamentally new turret differing from the serial-produced combat module and a more powerful 1130 HP engine. However, the configuration of the ProRiv is similar to the previous T-90 models with a driver compartment at the front, a turret at the center of the hull and a power plant located at the rear. It is propelled by a 1,000mm 12-cylinder engine, allowing it to reach speeds of 60 km per hour on roads and 50 off-road. The ProRiv variant is armed with a 125mm 2A46M to 4 smoothbore gun that is capable of firing standard ammunition as well as anti-tank guided missiles, ATGM, Reflex, NATO Code, AT-11 Sniper B rounds. Secondary armament includes a remotely operated weapon station armed with an NSVT 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm PTKM coaxial machine gun. Russian media claimed the tank's new multi-channel sight enables the crew to employ its armaments at any time of the day or night. In addition, the option of exchanging data with other combat vehicles in real time has been one of the upgraded tank's major advantages. Drones saved the front line. Ukraine fights Russia with toy UAVs. There are many drone manufacturers in Ukraine who send them to the front lines to their military. These drones cost about $400 to $500 and are capable of destroying expensive Russian equipment, Bloomberg reports. The agency told about the founder and CEO of the company Vyri Drone, Alexei Babenko, who produces about 6,000 drones per month. Vyri makes what it calls first-person view drones. They have four propellers and a mounted camera that can wirelessly transmit live footage of the flight to the pilot. The pilot operates using a remote control similar to a video game joystick. The drones were originally used for racing competitions until someone figured out that you could attach a bomb to use them using duct tape. Traveling at speeds of up to 160 km an hour, a single FPV drone can be equipped with explosives powerful enough to disable an armored vehicle. Three of these drones can disable a tank. 
The article says, the publication noted that the appearance of such drones has significantly changed the Ukrainian economy because Vairi produces a drone by investing in 400 to 500 drones and it can destroy an enemy tank which costs $9 million. According to Bloomberg, drones have become very important at the front because it is a cheap way to dispel the fog of war, ensure constant supply and strike at enemy equipment and forces. The drones have practically saved the front line. The publication quoted Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as saying, the article reported that Vyria technicians manually screw and solder engines, cameras and motherboards to the constant hum of fans and electric screwdrivers. They also have several 3D printers that help them work on making new drone frames for testing. When the drone is ready, it is lifted into the air for a quick test. Then it is put aside for packaging and delivery to the front. And within a week, some soldiers are carrying out combat missions, destroying a Russian vehicle or platoon thanks to these drones, the agency writes. Bloomberg also noted that in addition to FPV drones, Ukraine produces reusable drones that are capable of carrying explosives over long distances, in particular into enemy territory.